This was sent to me for free by the developer slash publisher, I think, actually, for review. I was not paid, and my opinions are my own. When I was really, really young, like really young, I always wanted to have a game where you sort of set the like foundation for a world, and it just goes and does things. And you can intervene if you want, but generally you just kind of watch. And games like that didn't really exist because they required quite a lot of work. But like, we kind of we kind of have that with this. It's not out yet. Early access, I think, is unlocking December second. I think. Let me double check that quick. A whole paragraph for the release date. Yeah, December the 2nd. Coming on December the 2nd. Isn't it great, Kramer? It is. It is very great. But it looks like it looks a lot like something that I would have wanted when I was really, really young. So I thought I'd take a look at it. it it's intriguing. I didn't make this fox thing. It just kind of is here. It's apparently called an artsum. Sounds like a some sort of a disorder, but I mean... It's got it's got stats, it's got a kill log, it's been killing some chickens apparently. It's level one with no no children, no age. We got 98 beasts in this world, five deaths thus far. With no world population. But I don't think we're gonna be doing a whole lot with this world. I think we make a new world and see what this game is. I don't know how hands-on it is. I'm thinking not very Good morning, Yeti. Good morning everyone. Wow. 27 months already. Time for more. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Valkyrie. 21, 27 months. 27 months streak. Tier 1. Much appreciated. Happy to have you. Look, we got some dials here. They're immortal. They don't die from old age. They have 666 health. They regenerate. They have burning feet. They have fire blood. They're fireproof. And they're fucking evil. With 121 attack speed, these things seem a little bit overpowered. I'm not I'm not so sure how I feel about these. Erkst, on the other hand, uh, a mere 10 health with 40 attack speed. Otherwise, quite similar. But I'm thinking the game's a little bit hands-off where you like sort of set parameters and like you can intervene a little bit if you want. You can like create and shape the world and like, I think I just place people and just will things into existence, maybe. Or uh, be an absolute bastard and, like, you know, drop an antimatter bomb or something, you know? Always. Always fun doing shit like that, right? Maybe a bowling ball. Big fucking bowling ball, apparently. Jesus. That also explode, I guess. There's a robot Santa. I guess. <laughs> I just kind of, I don't know, goes off over there. All sorts of, all sorts of things going on, it seems. Andrilio, hello, welcome. So yeah, um, oh god, does this scroll? Oh Jesus, the scrolls. All right. Ugh. Ugh. We can make EDF. Okay, let's uh, let's new world. I guess a new world, a large world, a huge world, a gigantic Titanic, a Titanic world. Let's make a Titanic world with uh, five small islands, I guess. Remove or add new ones after the game has started, of course. And random shapes. How many terrain shapes would we like to have in the new world? Add or remove them later on, of course. Just all of them. A hundred random shapes. So many. And how full of water do we want the map? We'll say 40. Ow. Ow. 
I don't know. We're doing it. Do some push-ups, everybody. And eat vegetables. It helps make worlds. This is a lot more water than I anticipated. I guess because I only said five small islands or so. Not sure. But hey. Alright. We can uh we can adjust this, I think. Soil, hills, mountains, high soil. Increased ground level. Okay. So this isn't as big as I expected generally, but uh Hey yeah, no, I'll take it. Look, it's like a it's like a mountainy desert over here. Look at that. It's making mountains kind of quick, though. Maybe I should just do... Maybe just soil. Yeah, that, that's a bit easier. That's a little bit easier. And look, the grass is automatically spreading. Whoa. I'll just connect these. Mm -mm. Why not? And this little teeny tiny sand island over here. Yeah, brush size. Make it, uh... Oh, we got noise ones too. Nice. Alright, big fan of that. Let's go with a... Big noisy thing. Really roughing up those edges a lot, yeah? Makes it look a little more natural-ish. To a degree. To some extent, at least. Okay. And, uh... Shallow water. Moderately deep. Very deep. Just... Just a little, a little bit of deepness there. Nothing too nuts. Okay. And then, like, trees and stuff, do those also just sort of, just sort of happen? There's burned pixels? Remove grass and bushes. Removes resources like stone, iron, and gold. Hmm. Uh. Hello, Lithriandal. So what's high soil, then? Is it just, like, basically a hill? Like, oh, just a, such a big hill here. And maybe, maybe a bit of hills. And mountain. Such mountain. Okay. Beam. I have no idea. What award did Gaston from Beauty and the Beast win? A Nobel Prize. What Ugh. happens if you kick Dwayne Johnson in the butt? You hit rock bottom. D. Ow, Lithrandall. Ow. We're back to sh we're back to shitty puns. <laughs> Thank you, Lithrandall. God damn it. What are these? Oh, some underdevelopment thing. Okay. Well. Um, we've got, like, world rules or something that we could do, right? Uh, world laws. Laws and physics of my world. Decide what's possible. Kingdoms can declare wars and treaties. Sh sure. Low loyalty cities and stuff. Sure. Send settlers to establish new villagas. Yeah. And stealing borders. Yeah. Angry villagers participate in same race wars. I guess we'll leave it the fault. Peaceful monsters. Ugh. Yeah, grow grass and eternal lava. Lava will stay forever and not cool off into rock. Natural disasters. General other disasters. Maybe. I, I suppose. All right, so that's that's that. Um, 
kingdoms and stuff, I guess. Force... Force kingdoms to be peaceful and at war. Inspire... So this is very much, like, directly influencing. And also some analytic stuff. Okay. So if I were just to go, like, we go to people. Ugh. Elves. Ugh. They like trees that don't like orcs. Basic human. Basic needs. Orcs are green and brutish. Don't like humans. And dwarves. They like mountains. They don't like elves, though. I don't blame them. Okay. Do we have a, uh... We can make, like, a really cool mountain area for Rat King? For dwarves, I guess. Um, just a big, f big fuck off mountainy area, within some hills around. I, I guess. I, maybe. Are they cool with that? And then we'll throw a little bit of soil. Sorry, little sand island. Or something like that. I'll give it something of a, uh, something of a shoreline, I guess, in most areas. And it seems like once we, like, kick it off, we just kind of hit, like, a go button and it just does things and we can watch her intervene. Oh, no. Pause. Because holy shit, that sound. Uh, yeah, there's no no slider anywhere. Well, I'll just have to turn it down on the Windows mixer, I guess. Hmm, such such peaceful rain sound. Click 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 click. Somebody going ham on a typewriter. Man, I uh, I'm not. Not too keen on that sound. Low of time. Times three it. Let's get some grass over there. And presumably also trees. It's, I'm still not sure how to do trees. Hmm. Crabzilla. Become an enormous crab. The destroyer of worlds. Um, yeah, about that. So, let's go back to normal time. Let's plop down. Plop down a dwarves. We'll just... A few, a few dwarves. Look at that, they're in. Oh, not village info. I want... Okay, they're doing things already. Look at that. They're making things. They gotta go a little bit of ways for the, uh, for the trees if, if they need that, but... It looks like they're maybe just figuring out themselves. Get gems from mines. Hunger. Favorite food? Pie. Well, what's pie? View their village. Population 2. 1 building. 9 area. I don't know what most of this is for us, but okay. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> uh, we'll leave them be. We'll, we'll leave them to it. And then we can maybe get a... Uh, maybe get a couple elves over ye. Right into it, they're ripping down, ripping down all that. And then we can get a human village. Over here or so. <laughs> we'll make quite a few of them. And, um... A tiny animal that loves to rave. We'll get a few of them down, I guess. And some chickens. Do they like chickens? 
maybe some rabbits. And maybe we throw some rabbits over here and let them do rabbit things over there. I feel like I'm kind of making an RTS. It's going to be like a rush to get that expansion. So, uh, okay, yeah, there are, there are seeds here. Acid and rain. Oh, I'm a rainstorm coming through. Oh, what a downpour. Oh, uh, ah. <laughs> I don't know. It says it helps soil and all that. Are we doing it? Bounce creatures around? Heat up pixels, shake the ground a bit, a tornado, temperature adjustments. Mushroom Kingdom. Hell yeah! Mushrooms. That's a lot of mushrooms. I'm really interested in what that does eventually. And then maybe a little bit of corruption. It's spooky. It's over here. Watch out for it. I feel like nature is taking it back, though. It was only spooky for a little bit. This dude maybe like caught a glimpse of it, but nobody will believe him. You know, they just kind of, I don't know, they just do their own things then, I guess, and take care of their own needs, and maybe they know how to farm already? I, I, don't, I don't know. Where are the elves doing? Cider? In a village of three people. In kingdom of... Three people. Their motto was, In unity we believe. They're the arrows of Yulhawa. Cool. There's also the Hodril Boulders and Rocky Aeol. Apparently the dwarves already split off into two kingdoms. Meanwhile, the realm of Vapashi. Six people to that. Just four homes, though. Bit of a homeless problem. Maybe that's why the dwarves split off. Split off. So where's the, where's the other dwarf kingdom, then? Kingdom lawyer. Beam. Way the fuck up here? To be frank, I'd have to change my name. Teslas do not a have new car smell. They have an Elon Musk D. To be frank... I'd have to change my name. Tesla's do not have new car smell. They have an Elon Musk. Ah, oh, God. Thank you, Lith Randall. That tapping sound, though. It's so quiet. Hmm. <laughs> what if I, uh... What if I turn off natural disasters? Maybe this is in some way related to a disaster. Because to me, it's a bit of a disaster listening to it. Oh shit, that's actually spreading. It's getting spooky over here. What is that? That gold? Dude, don't tell the dwarves about that. They'll come get it. Yeah, the ending of this, I, I have no idea. I don't think there is, like, an end goal. It's more of just, like, a true sandbox where you just do whatever. You know? You just, like, watch it all build up and then watch it burn at some point.
I suppose. Infernal biome that burns. Whoops. I meant to drag the camera. My mushrooms. Oh no. <laughs> I can fix it. I'll put it back. We'll do uh, a little enchanted island in the far corner. You need the gold chocobo to get down to it, though. That's the trick. And maybe a little, a little bit of swamp. E, and then some infernal in this area. Poor, poor rabbits. Oh, hey, there you go. Stone and, uh, yeah, fertilizer and stuff. There it is. That's, that's what I was looking for a while ago. Here you go. Have some stone. Look out, everybody. And some, like, precious bits and bobs and, uh... Some ore to make metals. Dude, the dwarves have it like the easiest way possible right now. It's nuts. And fruit bushes? Yeah, probably should get some fruit bushes up in here. I feel like this is a lot of fruit bushes though. It's quite a lot of fruit bushes. <laughs> Jesus. Some fruit over here. And some enchanted berry bushes, I guess. Very nice. A couple cats. And a rat king. Having a little bit of a fight. A rat king versus three cats. I guess it makes sense. How strong is the Rat King, though? It's almost dead. Okay, good job. Good job, cats. <laughs> They've DKCG, hello, and, uh, and also goodbye. Can't stay. Hard day at work. Oh, you gotta actually do things today. That's dumb. Work's stupid. Side though. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for staying. Hey, take it easy. I like how the biomes just kind of like sort themselves and figure out what they're doing. A woof. Nice. Um. What kind of diabolical shits do we put in here? I guess like the cold ones, I guess. Hellish creature. Some bandits. Dangerous boys who like to play with TNT and fire. An evil maga. A necromancer. Druid. White mage. A snowman. He knows nothing. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? God damn it. An ice tower. Nope. Not there. Oh, we gotta make a uh, a new new area, I suppose. Oops. So we'll say say shallow water. Kind of neat. Did, did, did that freeze? Then a little bit of soil. And we'll put a spooky ice tower down here. Bam! There we go. Look at him go. It's colonic. Immortal. With regeneration. And a cold aura. Freeze proof and weightless. Can't break the ice. Good luck to you. He'll do his thing there, I, I guess. Go times two speed. 
The kingdom is expanding. Look at the humans go. The dwarves still separated. Elves, they're sticking together okay. Let's, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Is that literally just, like... Boom! Wow, that's, that's a lot of force. That's really... Damn. <laughs> that don't play. General plant fertilization, too. Get some of that in. Okay. So I don't know what to do with the whole huge rock area here. I don't know if they actually use a mountain. I kind of thought that they'd sort of burrow in or something. I don't think that's the case, though. A real, real fucking thick snowstorm rolling in down here. Look out. Oh, that's snowy. Just a touch of acid. Mm, that sounds... Sounds good. Really nice. Maybe a little lava cloud comes on by, you know, as they as they do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is some, uh... Some ASMR going on here. That... Is that doing anything for you? Gonna go over here. Oh god. <laughs> it's, I, st I still hear it. Huh. A little volcano in the water, too. Look, it's like, it's like our own little Hawaii. The, the the rainstorm that was heard around the world. Horrifying. A couple doggos. Can they figure it out? We'll see. We'll check on that later. Speed it up a lot. It does seem like they're doing okay. They got the basics at least, and they just kind of they just kind of figure it out. I I think they're also burrowing into this a little bit. I'm not sure. It's it's within their kingdom boundaries at least. So like I guess there's that. I can't wait for them to butt heads. You think they've met yet? Oh hey, look, the elves spread out. That's that's their capital. This is the capital. It's the same kingdom. Gotcha. That's why they both highlight. It's just a second village type thing. So this is their this is the capital, huh? Wow. Looking looking really good. They got like a defender dude with the big shield icon. Who's who's your king? That's the king. Weightless, wise, has seen some stuff. And has a golden tooth, a symbol of wealth and respect. How elvish. A, uh... I have no idea. There they are! That's... that's the king. What a life. They visit houses, and they pick berries. Amazing. Oh yeah, this is- this is a little bit. Oh yeah, it's like they- they spread out as well. Some. I feel like the humans just don't have... room to spread. This is a little bit like what I was expecting it to be, though. Very much a sandbox thing where you just- you really just do your own thing. Um... Holy shit. They got a lot of fighter dudes. 
very much doing just the basics and then the game just plays itself kinda. Have a cow. Um, maybe some penguins. How, how you doing over here? Hmm. You know, they're not a fan of, they're not a fan of anything living. Like at all. Oh, a skeleton. And zombies. Turns other humanoids into zombies. <gasps> what could do a zombie outbreak? You think they can handle it if I throw a couple zombies at them? That'll be our little... Our little disaster. Go back to normal time, though, first, because I don't want it just to be over immediately. Tumor. Multiplayer simulator. What, what you doing? Okay, okay, um... Aw, oh, some bees? Grats, you live next to bees. Enjoy it. Ugh. The zoom is a little bit sensitive sometimes. Um... And butterflies that like flowers. Sure. A cyber core to assimilate? I don't know what the, it's just like drawing dirt. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, zombies. Um, yes. Look out, villager! Ah, fucking hell! Are you infected or anything? No. There, there we go. Is that the king? This dude's fancy looking. Well, he's dead now. Well, zombies are tough. Um, it, it's not looking so good for humans. Yeah, I don't know if they get into boats and like travel to other lands. I'm not sure. It, it was getting to the. It was getting to the point where uh, their island was a bit full. Eh, yeah, Kingdom's not doing so hot. <laughs> they they died. Agile? How is a zombie agile? Ah. Okay. How about... Oh, there we go. There's a big death ball. They're fighting off some ghost. Let's go, humans! You can... You can do it. They're so fucked. Like, they're so completely fucked. It's just a zombie death ball now. Nothing can escape. Even this little warband. Like, you guys any good at fighting, or... What's the... what's the story here with you? Favorite food, tea. 
90 speed, 19 damage. You'd have a hell of a time 1v1-ing a zombie with that. Alright, look here, hand guy. <laughs> can, can we get rid of ya? Tutorial bear. Oh. Mush must grow. Spread spores on units. Power up. That's what they need. We gotta give these guys a power up. Oh. Uh. I powered up the zombie as well. Res Blood rain. Restores health? Not sure that's how that works. Let's magnet, magnet you into the water. Tough, tough fucking zombie over there. <sighs> God damn it, hand! Get out of here! They can maybe take back this land. If they so choose. What has the the power up done for you exactly though? Ugh. Created by a Asha Shoot from Realm of the v Vapashi. Fifteen years ago this sword is. Fifteen years old. Attractive. Content. Crippled. Oh. Why is a zombie attractive? You ever look at a zombie and think like, you know what? I'd consider it. Not me. That's icky. Okay, well. Um. Hmm. I don't know about this hand. Let's... Get got some cultures going on too. Let's get ready to just start over. <laughs> now that I know a little bit more of what's going on, kind of. Raven was that hand that was that a miscellaneous? Uh huh. Okay. Well, have some madness. <laughs> Jesus. And, uh, some gray goo. Holy shit. Um,. <laughs> Look out, hand! Oh my god, it killed the hand? Grey goo is so strong, it killed a god hand. 
Okay, so while that does that then, um Cool. Wow. Oh, look at me go. Yeah, fuck all of it. <laughs> Holy shit. Um I got the elves. So destruction wise. Destruction rise pretty fucking potent. Living houses. Are there any houses left? There's one. Oh no, they're attacking their own houses. What the hell? Why would you do this? Tell me about the house. Armoa, immortal, crippled, used to be an adventurer like me. It's got six kills already. The house ain't going down without a fight. Can kill everyone if it lands on a village. I think that goes for most of these. I think all of these can kill all the things. Hmm. Take that, mountain! So. Uh, you asked about the power up to Crabzilla. The thing is, when I spawn Crabzilla... I think that fucking gray goo. Um, what was that a miscellaneous thing? When I spawn Crabzilla, it just gives me control of it immediately. But like, maybe I could make a really powerful berry bush. Have some coffee too. Terrifying. Are you done yet? <sighs> what's even what's even squidging around over here? Well, you know, I'll tell. I, I gotta say though, they're they're troopers. They're hanging in there. I'm not really sure why. Hmm. Warm. Uh. Where was that hand thing? Yeah, you. Godfinger. All right. I mean, it's like the Rimworld Daily Drama series with this. Like, I just, uh... Gotta be really quick, I guess. It's an MMO now. You get some worms going around. Mess up the landscape, apparently. Strike a finger with lightning? I- I did it. Probably. It just- the thunderstorm just kinda happened to happen, so... You know. Boy, it really gets messy, though. The, uh... <laughs> all the pixel art and stuff. <laughs> Just turns into noise. Right, well. Uh, this world's sufficiently fucked, I think. We can, uh... 
We can go for a new one. How about world history? Oh, there we go. <laughs> was was founded and then destroyed like half a year later. Well done. Ah. Okay, so a new world. Let's, I, I was interpreting this to be like percentage, but I guess it means like water height or something. Earth 2? Uh, yes, T totally. Earth 2. Maybe with a little more land this time. It's looking a bit better. Okay. Nice. So, let's... Whoops. You gonna be okay, buddy? Okay. He, he's in. It takes him a little while to, like, go, I guess, but, um... Okay, I don't, I don't actually, I didn't mean to put him there. So, we've got... Look, this bomb's got, like, a snowy peak and stuff. Natural dwarf starting spot. Uh-huh, have, have two dwarves, good luck. Enjoy. And, uh, a couple of humans. Ah. Tremendous. They're already making a civilization. We'll get a couple elves. And then some orky shits. I guess I just need one. But, I don't know. Something inside me tells me I need at least two of them to make more. And, like... I think we'd be okay just to times five it for a while. Have a world with villages for each race. I did it. Are you are you proud of me? We got Green Alona. Uh. Apparently they do do boats. I guess. Show me the location of kings and leaders and boats when they happen. And also map names. There we go. And show some major important events too. We got Blood of Us does 7. Green Alona 6. I think that's populations. Or like important people. Um... Is that is that what that is? I guess it's just the population of the place then. We got the Holy Issa, the Great Their Obel, Green Alona, and the Blood of Us does. Hey Lucasette, how you doing? Welcome. Dude, elves spread fast. Already twelve of the damn thing. Well, okay, orcs have fifteen though, I guess. They spread like so quick. Are they happy, though? I guess so. Restores health over time. Can get bones and leather from fallen foes. A little bit paranoid. Zog Zog. Tonk. They, they breed like rabbits, those guys. Maybe that's age. Not sure. Where was the general kingdom overview? His village info works. Yeah, 21 pop- yeah, it's population. It's now a capital called Peza. They're doing it. Oh no, it's still the blood of his does. Okay. 
Okay, meanwhile, what's your excuse down here? Come on, guys. Come on. Get with it, dwarves. You are dwarves, right? Pretty sure. Got a holiday today and Thursday. I'll watch today and that nice. Enjoy the holiday. So wait, you still work Wednesday, though? Kind of odd. Hopefully, uh, that goes okay for you. But yeah, I'm doing pretty okay. Tired. Really tired. But, uh, hanging in there. We're doing it. You saw ought to be showing up possibly soon-ish if he's available today. I'm not 100% sure yet. They got a perfectly good mountain here. The doors are just completely ignoring it. What the hell? What kind of a dwarf are you? All hail Penalo of Great Thero Ball. There they are. Doing doing whatever it is they do. Holy shit, 45? God damn, they're gonna have to uh build more houses soon, I think. Eventually, the population should, like, normalize and stabilize a bit. No way can they sustain that many. I've done nothing for them. Hey, I doing Tinky Tink. Welcome, welcome. I'll allow angry villagers, I suppose. Why not? If stuff's being done. Like, not good stuff is happening, then I think they should be able to revolt. Sure, why not? It'll keep the populations in check a little bit better. I'm very disappointed in the dwarves. I gave them everything, and they're just like, no, nah, we don't want it. The hell. Cultures, Dak Kak, Yidadrao, Klop Horub, and Goridi. It sounds like greedy. I like it. Nothing too wild, though. One village, one capital, one culture. Nothing too nuts yet. And still no boats, either. But they're probably still rocking, like, stone tools and stuff, I'd imagine. Or wood. As the case may be. There is like rock and stuff around though. And metal. They can do it. Green Alona declared war. Wait, Green Alona knows about them? How do you know about them? I guess you just like looked across the water and saw like, ugh. A green dude over there. Ugh. There we go. Now the dwarves are talking. A second little town. I think the orcs are going to win this, though. They regenerate, and there's way more of them than everybody else so far. What, uh... What else can we look at for analytics and stuff? So I guess they just kind of magically know about each other. So yeah, they don't like they don't like the humans and dwarves and elves and orcs. I'm okay with this. So that's ah uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, sure. Would be neat to be able to zoom out enough and see like an actual wraparound world type thing. Rather than it being just... Uh, endless ocean outside, apparently. Oh no! What happened? 
probably died of old age or something. It looks like quite the boring lifestyle here. They just kind of stand around and uh, occasionally get food. I don't think they've got enough trees and stuff. Hey, Green Alona made peace though, and we got a new village made. A third village for the for the dwarves. Humans still just hanging in there, I guess. Okay. And they made they made peace with the the whole world is at peace. Oh. I'll give you an enchanted biome. There you go. A couple enchanted biomes. Well done, world. It's like... Classical conditioning. Hmm. Also, hello, frickin' moron. Welcome. Blame work and meetings. You had a meeting in the morning? Morning meetings are stupid. Meetings should really just happen, like, at the end of the day, I think. It's like a wrap-up and stuff, and what we need to be doing. Like, the end of Monday, or something, you know? I'm waiting for, like, a revolt to happen. One of these places is just, uh... Getting fed up with it all, you know? We on the top speed. Yeah, top speed. I know, like, kings just dying and stuff like that, and we're being declared, but... Until they get boats and stuff, they don't have a way to get over there. I don't know... I don't know when they get boats. I, I imagine stuff is locked behind just this, like, the age of the... I don't know, empire, I suppose. So, like, when it hits 50 years old, they advance into this tech. Just automatically. They just sort of know. What's this do with the stop sign? Oh, he's angry. He's got a wood stick. A 28-year-old wood stick. I can't believe it. <laughs> he's just standing at the... Whoa, there's actually a lot of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a fighting party. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's it's not a dude with a stop sign. That's a war banner of some form. And they're just like the the war party that's hanging out, I guess. They they look like they've all got sort of floaties on. Copper perfect sword, an epic weapon. Excuse me? Where'd you get a copper perfect sword at? And this dude's got a wood stick. A stone blunt sword. Man, there's some favoritism going on. For real. Are they riding sheep? Yeah, I don't know what it, it looks like uh floaties, but yeah, it could be like like in Joust, they got those like chocobos or emus or something that they like ride around on. Could be. Hmm. Is that, is that a port? Oh uh, yeah, I think it is. It, it's a boat. We got one. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, it's a fishing boat. Okay. Sure. You guys got boats yet? Have you figured it out? They got a fancy building here. We got, like, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, I guess. Whoa. That must be a capital building. Holy shit. All right. Well, the dwarves are uh, kind of taking over. They They have the most land, I suppose, to start with. You think they'll... 
You think they'll go into a civil war? Okay, hold on. We got a we got a fucking problem here. 52, 52 damn dirty elves on this boat. Coming on in. They just scouting. Don't know. That's the dwarves. You leave them alone, they'll beat your ass. They got copper perfect swords. I think they're just scouting. They're looking for their natural expansion. What the? Where'd these fucking dudes come from? How many boats you send up here? All right, well, there's a boat of, boat of dudes that landed here then, I guess. What type of weapons we rocking? Sticks? Sticks? Stone broken sword. You guys are so fucked. It's just hanging out. Not sure where the other boat went. I guess it went back. Unless it dropped these dudes off and I missed it. They're just hanging out. Just casually parking a war party at your border. And then they made they made some peace with the uh, with the orcs. Okay, they're going back home. They were just visiting. They're boarding a. Great Thera Wall. Hmm. Not, I'm not sure that's their boat. Must be though. Well, it is now. All right. Is there a way to just hide this whole thing? Not sure. Roads. Mm. Two hundred humans. You did it. Two hundred sixteen, though. All just the one city. Interestingly, they haven't they haven't spread out at all yet. I guess there's no room. The elves finally decided to set up camp somewhere else, though. About damn time somebody does. I'm thinking they're going to devolve into civil war at some point. The humans have a nice island really close by to expand to, unless the elves take it first. I think the orcs got to declare war on somebody though soon, right? Like, the borders are even touching up here. I almost want to make a really tiny land bridge just to see what happens. Oh my god. That's a lot of dudes. The orcs will declare war over fishing rights. Yeah, something like that, right? Surely. They can't be too happy with the elves taking that spot, right? Here's another boat. He just another fishing boat, though. Zero passengers. It is it is just a boat doing its own thing. They forgot to anchor it down. Ocean's taking it now. Alright. Uh made peace with Holy Isa. 
Okay. As you do. <clears throat> There's a touch more, a little too much heat. Little, little too much heat. <laughs> Burnt a few things. Can I, uh, like heat up the water or so? Nah. Just generally burning things, I guess. Take that water! Oh. You think it'll stop eventually over there? Hey, there you go. There's a war happening finally. Red declared war on Lorange. I'm not sure that's going to go away. It's like a permanent tornado. It's lasting for years. Hold on. How do I get rid of this damn thing? That's all just explosives and bombs. Wasn't there like an eraser somewhere? Well, so that's just, that's just there, I guess. You think launch a nuke at it? Frag <laughs> mm. out. All right, got it. Good suggestion. Oops. Totally didn't mean to do that. Oh god. Okay, well. We get to uh we get to remake this island then a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Pause for me fast. Ah, there you go. Sponge. That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> and then the uh, grass seeds. Just have grass seeds and some plant fertilizer and tree fertilizer, some bushes, and a couple stones around, a touch of gold, some ore, and uh, some rain. Oh, there it's. Good as new, right? You'll never you'll never know I did anything to it. Oh shit. I thought something was going on. There's a lot of deaths happening. Looks like the dwarves have come on in. Giant likes to hold the door. It's got a wood stick. It's not going so hot for the orcs. 140 and dropping. We managed to push back at 140 left. What? A little more up here. This dude's huge. Holy shit. 
giant savage regeneration. God damn, look at the size of that one. Okay, looks like they've defended somewhat. They got a bit of a fire, though, to handle. They lost their big important-looking building, though. How sad. God, that's, that's so many of them. <laughs> Just this big, massive line of them. I think they're working the way up to the boat. Oh my god, they spread. They're doing it. They're doing it. The humans better, like, make new land soon. They're gonna run out of everything. Not a whole lot left for them. Waiting for that boat to leave. Is it a war boat? Hundred one people on there. It's a lot of people. They gotta have big plans with it. I think that's I think that's that. Yeah. So it just dumps them all, like, in the kind of vicinity, I suppose. <laughs> a little bit hard to follow, but yeah, they all just dump out and blow up a few buildings quick. You know what they need? They need some long-range artillery, you know? Or some submarines. You know, blast the boats before they get to ya. That's not even fair. I don't know how this guy got here. He can't get out. He can't get away, though. Oh, man. The dwarves are, are taking it to him this time. <gasps> hey, they did it finally. Ah, it took him ages. Just in, just in time to watch the orcs burn, I, th I think. I, I don't see them really recovering from this. There's just so many dwarves left. The orcs no longer have, like, a big fight in war party anywhere. It's just villagers. Oof. Just oof. F F's and chat for the orcs. I thought they'd I thought they'd go a little bit better because they were growing so fast, but they just didn't want to fucking spread. I don't know. I guess it's not a suitable biome for them anywhere, and they're just like, eh, this world sucks, and just like fucking alt F forward. I don't I don't know. Didn't I put down like trees and stuff up here? Kingdom of Blood of Us does destroyed. Rip them. Well, I guess that's just a f fertilizer, but like. I'll shorten up this coastline a little bit. Because, uh. Apparently, coasts aren't meant to be quite so beachy, looking at the other places. High soil, I guess? Hmm. And the nature and disasters. Ah, there you go. 
I think it's the, uh, the high soil I need then. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that could be then. Toss a druid on the island, they'll, they'll sort it for me. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong about that. They probably would. Okay, yeah, I need more high soil, though. That's... When I think high soil, I think, like, elevation high, not, not like, rich soil. Alright. That, that should sort itself out, then. Genuinely, at, at some point. I got, I got the stuff down for it. Plant fertilizer and tree fertilizer and... Yeah, I'll figure it out. How are we doing? Yo, men's. What the nice trade boat going on, too. Looks like. I don't see this going very well. It's a little bit too close for comfort. I think the dwarves are extending a bit much. Nobody's taking the ravaged orc land yet. They're just kind of hanging out. Defending it. Maybe one day they spread to it. 110 people on this tiny ass island. You sure about that? All right, 431, 435, holy crap. That's a lot of elves. Okay. Oh, they're spreading up to my new area too. It's still getting started, damn it. Oh, well. Elves are like rabbits? Yeah, it's nuts. Uh, elves and orcs were both like that at the start. <clears throat> the dwarves sort of started taking over, though. They don't seem to mind too much expanding and spreading, whereas the humans apparently like to be... Humans are like orcs, but I guess grow slower. Like, they like to be just one... one central area. But, uh... I guess they just grow slowly enough that any sort of problem would would resolve itself. Put some orcs like up up here <laughs> on this little thing next to the crab island. And let me let me connect this a, a little bit so I can actually access the crabs. Orcs number two. <laughs> I'll give them a little bit of a boost. I'm not sure what they do for food, aside from the crabs that they've just pushed into the water. Here's a little bit of soil. A little bit of high soil. Okay. There's some hills here. And, and I guess some of it's a mountain. Okay. Okay. Good, good luck to ya. I guess I should give them, like, a berry bush or something. If, if I even can. I don't think there's enough soil for it. A rock! No. Well, good luck to him. Maybe it's food for the other folks. A village of heal. Oh, look at that! They're spreading down to the orcs' uh, old area now. Yeah, they're just going to starve to death. Okay. Here, I'll give you a... I'll give you a little more soil. 
I guess. Man, orcs are greedy. And then some actual grass seed. There you go. Look at that. And now can I give you some bushes? There you go. Some bushes. Look at that. My god. Apparently animals just sort of spawn sometimes too. I guess there's that. Uh, yeah, fine. A touch of high soil, too, maybe. Jeez. Because I guess they need, like, wood that isn't these nasty jungle trees. Or something. There you go, it's a little oasis. They're all taking some damage. Hey, how doing, Kev? Welcome. I've, I've done everything. It's, it's on you guys to figure it out. I've given you the whole world. Not so sure about orcs level 2. Uh-oh. Sharing the same island now. Population 500, though. I think that's a new record. So we've also got new kingdoms being founded. Like, I see heals a different color of red than these. We, uh... Yeah. It's like a more of a darker purple or red. Interesting. Culture wise, same cultures. Well, I guess, yeah, no, same culture. All right. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I guess they're doing quite all right there. They got, they got everything they could possibly want. And they've got nothing. <laughs> Uh, these have plenty, but they ain't sharing. Dude, the elves are, uh, pretty fucking set. Thor's ain't doing too bad. 7,200 gold, though. 9,654. Nuts. Spaceships when? God, maybe soon. <laughs> Some elf spaceship thing, just like catapult a, a thing into space. All right. Uh, how about the one like rep wise? Relations, that's the one. Everybody's at peace. For, for now. The, the borders are actively touching now. And they're all taking damage. Because they have no food here. That, that's... That wheat needs to grow quicker. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't have lived here, you dumb fucks. Man. Elves can't live on old orc land. Or maybe boat over some food. 
Such dum dums. It's just like a prison island, I guess. Well, he'll got their own king now too. Yeah, there you go. like an anthill game. Yeah, it's a good way to look at it. It's like the the sort of thing where you just set the foundation, you just let them do their own thing. You just watch. You can get yourself involved if you want. Like I could totally throw them uh, a diverse amount of animals to hunt and eat and stuff like that. But I figure if if they moved into land that wasn't suitable for them and they couldn't trade up or something like that, then, uh, you know, not my problem. Eh? Who's purple up here? More humans, I think. Deceitful. Gluttonous. The copper bow. Slow. Tough. Gluttonous. Some more humans. And the orcs? Yeah, they all died. They all died. I don't think there's enough space here for them to even, like, start building. It it must look for at least a minimum amount of space. If you are looking for a game, though, where it is the sort of, like, a, a true sandbox that's also, like, incredibly hands-off... Whoa. Is anybody going to stop? It's like two dudes here. I think, a, I think a civil war broke out. Although it's a blue shield guy. Well, Emmaus is dead. Apparently. I didn't catch what happened there at all. But if you're looking for a game that's really hands off like that, that this is this is quite okay. This is a lot like what I would have loved as a kid. It's like sort of the game that I always wish that I had, you know, because I always got a kick out of like black and white where you just let the villagers do their own thing and see what they do and what they manage. And like sometimes you can interfere with it a little bit to turn things, you know, one side or the other. It's quite okay. So what do we got then for actual kingdoms nowadays? Yeah, just just the four. Humans, humans, dwarves, elves. Elves are solely taking over the world though. And they, they're still kicking down here? Why? Why are you so persistent on, on having this area? Alright, good luck to you. It's shitty for you, though. Like it's, just, it's just bad. They got a lot of wheat now, I suppose. They gotta ship around the goods to make it uh, suitable, though, really. Just not enough trees for him. There were briefly six kingdoms. Yeah, up here, right? I think one of them, like, civil war turned into its own kingdom and then got immediately stomped out. There's just kind of constant war happening up here, I guess. <laughs> Not entirely sure. <laughs> Is it normal there's no sound at all? Yeah, there's not really any sound in this game aside from like plips and plops. It reminds me a lot of like old school, um, the, like the speaker inside the computer. Yeah. 
yeah, there's no music or anything like that. It's really, really quiet. What's uh, what's the deal with the statue? Get out of here, magnifying glasses. Shoot. I want to know the story behind that thing. How'd that get there? Why'd that get there? Will this war ever end? It looks like purple's actually winning. Purple's doing a lot more boat stuff than blue is. You finished the gladiator sim. Like five hours, eight, eight of 12 tournaments in the game so far. Well, so I'm kind of getting there. I think I'm on like the sixth tournament, maybe seventh. Getting there with it, done. Gladiator sim is nice. Okay. How we doing here? Looks like, looks like they've maybe got a foothold in again, finally. Holy Issa made peace with Beck. Yeah, damn right you did. You're getting your ass whopped over there. All sorts of kings changing over. Whoa. Where'd all those come from? Holy shit. I think they just got a massive population injection. Yeah. Yeah, they boated over a ton of reinforcements, but now, like, they belong to that? When it drops them off, it must switch over, right? No way can they sustain 111 people there right now. 115. Don't know about that. Had one of the Orc Berserker dudes, he gained strength with every 60 HP, so you just pumped him with HP. He had 20,000 HP when you were done. Is that the cap? 20,000? That's so much strength he's gonna have, then. That's disgusting. It's fun that you can do the extremes in that, though. I think that's kind of what you have to do. A little bit. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Elves beating the shit out of the dwarves. Ador is gone. Ma Doom is about to be done too. Dude, holy shit! Are the dwarves gonna to get taken out now too? Some humans coming up on the back. Are they here to help or <laughs> big declared war? Oh Jesus. hundred eighty population strong. But they're still fighting they're still fighting these guys though. How's that gonna work out? You're fighting a war on two fronts now? I don't even know why they're fighting the dwarves. <laughs> uh all right. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
or like control the enormous crab or just take over the world with the uh with the gray goo turn the plants and houses to living zombie pandemic general just misleading us interfering with the combats all sorts of stuff i can do But like, yeah, you could also plop down all these animals and stuff if you really want to like fine tune and make like the perfect world and stuff. Holy shit. Well, purple won their little battle there. Can they beat the 700 population, like, capital village, though? That I'm not so... That I'm not so sure. That, that I'm not so sh sure. Um... Oh. Okay. B purple's out of here! This fucking recolonized is blue. I... Okay. Yeah, sh yeah, sure. <laughs> that, that happened really quickly. Wow. And then dwarves and elves ought to be going at it here. I'm surprised they managed to do something with this. They must have, like, just barely hung on there. It seems like such a tiny nothing for 230 plus people to be on. So, it's uh, it's looking like it's going to ultimately be elves versus humans here pretty soon. Because the dwarves don't have a whole lot going for them anymore. A at all. It's looking very bad for them. <laughs> In fact, like, so bad for them. Elves a bit of a plug in their capital to balance out? I'll... I don't know. Maybe? The thing is, like, can the elves send a big enough attack force to take on an island of 727 humans? EDF! EDF! That I'm not so sure. Big long streak, and there's been far too few today, so here's one on me. How do you make holy water? You boil the hell out of it, D. Oh, mister, I think we've had that one before. How do you make holy water? You boil the hell out of it. Ah! <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Meteor. Tier 1, 17 months. Thank you very much. Thoros are hanging in there. I love the pop four over here. It's just like some dudes marooned on an island, and they're like, "No, this is a this is a village. This is our colony. Look, see, I'm king or whatever." Hmm. But we do have uh, we do have biome ants and stuff like that. Like we could do a little ant war. Converts matter into sand and ocean pixels. Creates mountains and sand. Creates soil from everything. Creates square-like patterns. Creates sand. And then dies. And not culture. We have four kingdoms. They seem to have separated off, but at some point, right, like these dudes will just come over and just like retake them back somehow. Okay, so hold on. 
pause real quick. Orcs. Try number three, okay? You can do this. I believe in you. Do anything. Orcs. Come on. Come on, orcs. Come on, or <sighs> all right. <laughs> yeah, fine. Humans are keeping up. I'm surprised the dwarves haven't just been fucking eradicated yet. I guess they're turning into a slave race or something like that. Put mind flares on an elven island. Uh, there's something kind of like that. There's like an insanity thingy that I can plonk down. Somewhere. Ooh. Humans do want it? Nope, oh, never mind. Whoa. Whoa. What is happening? A massive shift here in kingdoms. Like four new kingdoms just all at once. They're just like, no, you know what? <laughs> what the hell? Well, this is getting messy. Got a lot of kingdoms now. Saw the number dropping a lot. Got nervous. Okay. Interesting. What are they gonna do about that? That's... that doesn't help me any. I guess kingdoms. Yeah, elves, humans. Elf, elf. I like how it's the Urish. <laughs> Sounds like a great kingdom name. So just the three cultures. So yeah, one, one dwarf. The elves, like, hugely fragmented. I'm not... Too sure what caused that. I guess just like a bit of a knock-on effect from something. Oh, come on. Give it up, this little island. Would you fuck out of here? <laughs> There's nothing here for you. I think people just get marooned there and then die. And then they're like, wait, we can, we can settle there. And then they get marooned again. Population 4, though, they're trying for some reason. Ah. I wonder if it, like, intentionally keeps it going for whatever reason. Like, instead of just wiping out everybody and having one person left, if it just, like, tries to kind of keep it a little bit interesting. Holy shit, dude. Povo's getting wrecked from two sides. Their forces are split. I think they've done it. I wasn't sure they'd be able to. I thought it'd be too many. Made, made a bit of peace. Holy shit. Alright, so maybe the elves can take over the world then, I don't know. An island of 983 elves is, um, kind of terrifying to me. Ooh. 
we we might have to we might have to intervene in some way. Anything happening here? Mm. Other various powers, I guess. Ah, the words are finally gone. They did it. How's Crab Island? But this little thing. Uh, uh it's Sheep Central now, I guess. <laughs> still, still unlivable. Oh, what, well, you think like a corrupted brain or something? Made their goddamn precious plants come to life. The plague. Eh. Gotta... Gotta catch someone. There we go. I got a few of them with it. Let's see what happens. Just a little touch of plague. Just a little dash. It's going to be absolutely devastating. Look at them all shake around. They're going to fucking die, all of them. Ugh. It's like a rave. The 20, 60. Ooh, 14. Population, it, it dipped below a thousand for a moment. They're all getting on a boat together? Oh, that's not going to be good. Yeah, they're below a thousand now. Don't know. I think, I think the plague was maybe a touch much. <laughs> Because of the way they clump together. But, you know what? Fuck elves, right? I mean, keep in mind, we're only in times two speed. Like, that's how quickly the elves regrow and repopulate. It's disgusting. Times five speed, no. Everybody else is holding steady. I, I don't know how. Or why? Fuck. It's like they got a bunch of babbies in reserve and they just like, they pop them out when needed to keep the population number up there. They're, there's just so many of them, they can reproduce through the plague. It's not killing them fast enough. What if it was actually a zombie plague the whole time?
And they turn two friends. And they turn two friends. And they turn two friends. With enough archers, they could do it. They're kind of keeping it quarantined a little bit behind that tree. God, I hate elves. It's all the melee fighters, though, just resupplying the, the zombies. Dark elves? What, you mean dark elves? Uh, Still population 1,020. <clears throat> what the hell? Come on, don't tell me this had no effect. They still got a plague, and they beat... I think they've beat all the zombies, and they're just... They're just accepting the fact that their life expectancy is five, and they're just like, no, you know what? We can still pop kids out. It's fine. Uh, all right. How about, uh... A dragon? <laughs> I could probably beat a dragon, actually. Although that brings destruction to the world. I don't know if... That might affect, like, everybody. We might have to take a look at that later on. What's the rest of the world doing? They all holding steady? Kinda, yeah. Alright. I had an idea. I forgot what it was, though. Power up plus undead. Hmm. Just like one super zombie, maybe? Get a dragon out there. Can't get mad. That's a secret. It's always mad. Well, it's making a pretty big goddamn mess out of everything. Population... ...very severely dwindling. Uh, its AoE properties are something to behold. Um... <laughs> That went very wrong, very quickly. And it leveled up so fast. Okay, I'm going to, uh... I think I gotta put it down. It's, it's too powerful. Uh. 
How can I... Where was the sponge at? That's all life. Removes ruins and tornadoes. It's not him, though. Uh... Uh... Hmm... How, how can I get rid of just, like, about the best I could do is, like, heat ray it? Or maybe just, like, maybe just frag out a bit. I guess. Just shove him. Shove him over here. This'll work. Now cook the bastard. Okay. Okay. Good luck, elves. Whew. That's that's divine heat there. That's uh That's a bit rougher to deal with, I think. All right. The uh the population is still Sometimes just jumping up uh, 20, 30 plus at a time. The, the plague that I know they've still got because I see them jibbling around, it's it's still not strong enough. <laughs> what? What's the deal with these elves? They got like fertility shrines or something? Is that what it is? What if I what if I just fuck that that big ass building? Now what? Now what do you think? They they don't really care, actually. They don't give a shit. The rest of the world. All right. Okay. Okay. You don't need boats anymore. Not necessary. Let's get some tension. They're still going to use the boats, but, you know. Okay. Some, some things are happening here. The elves are having a lot of revolts going on. They're, they're really just not happy with anything. Oh, shit. Why do the humans suck so bad at defending? They're dog shit at it. And they finally caught up. Man. They lost like half their population. Hey, King's coming by. Okay, okay. Elves are just too fucking strong.
We good? Everybody at war. Okay. Yo far, I'm on with two. Population two over there. The elf capital. Slowly dipping beneath 30. The thing is, though, I'm thinking everybody's going to have the plague here pretty soon. Like, that's just going to be a thing that the whole world has forever. Because I don't think it ever drops off, and they just keep giving it to each other over and over and over again. Uh. Interesting little uh, sheep thing going on here. I think something might be weird with population growth. Like, it really feels like it just, it queues up populations to to have to have some growth, and it just decides to pop it when it needs it. Because they just kind of go up in the huge spike sometimes to catch up to what they want to be at. All right. What if I would like to have some to say about this? Anybody, anybody going to stop me here? Cut off some of your ties with each other. Fuck that boat. Fuck this boat. You going to do anything about this? They don't seem to care, like, at all. Interesting how it decides that, like, that entire kingdom is now just on this little island. Alright, well, good luck with that. I've done all I need to do, I think. There's a lot of homeless elves having to swim around. You're not gonna want to swim there. Okay, um, everybody is still just hanging steady, though. Hmm. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. Maybe I should pause first. Not that some dude is just sitting there with a bow and just like fucking kill stealing all of them as they come in. Orcs just pop up. I don't know. It's uh, devastation, conflict, bad feelings and emotions. Orcs happen. The world's in a big state right now. It's not very bueno. So naturally orcs. Hey, oh my god, they actually set something up. Holy shit. I'm so proud of the orcs. They've done it, finally. The blood of ass, they've called themselves. Population six. Will the orcs actually manage anything now? I have no idea. Everybody's making peace. I think they're all realizing that 
the conflict is drawing orcs and they're like, no, we don't want to deal with that again. There's a second orc settlement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are on times five. There's a third one coming in. just a mountain island. Hmm. When'd that get there? Who the hell knows? Give it a little bit of noise. Look at that. Kind of a fun tool. Oops. Sorry, boat. I like how these dudes were just, like, kind of drowning the whole time, but at the same time, not really. There you go. Here's some land. How you doing over here? We, we don't want anything. I put down, like, a, a kind of a ton of orcs. Cat island? Uh, you wanted, like, a cat and dog island, didn't you? Well, the orcs figure out what the hell they're doing. We'll, uh, we'll get to work on that. The thing is, though... Hmm. I guess that should be, like, deep ocean. Actually. I don't want people to, like, actually live over here, though. So we're gonna have to do a small... A small break. This area is off-limits, okay? It's like a GM island. Nope. Get out of here. Fuck you, boat. Okay. Now... Oh, yeah, grass seeds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your fruit bushes and trees. Couple rocks here and there. And they're going to need, of course, a little bit of water. A little drinking hole. That's where the shit goes down. With just a... Touch of deep ocean in there, too. Just a touch. A little bit of sand. Okay. Now. Two parties, right? Doggos. That's ten. Twenty. And cats. Okay. Go. Oh, Jesus. What is that? That's a- that's a waff! Oh no. Um. Uh. Um. Eh. Uh.
Ah. Ah. How do I just, how do I just kill, like, if I just want to say fuck you to one specific thing? How, how can, how can I do that? I guess the cat just has to, the cat just has to do it. The cat can't, the cat's not fighting back. Uh, well, the life he raised, that, that's all life with a single touch, though, like. Okay, I thought that was like the clear the whole world button. All right, no, we're good. Any other uh, nasty shits going around? Okay. We're good. All right. And then I need a little bit of water in here, because for now I think it's just empty. I don't know if... Yeah, that, that, that's enough. So that's a lot of rain. All right. Good luck over there. How we doing elsewhere? Orcs are holding steady. They got a little foothold. Three of them, in fact. But that's it. That's it. That's all. Are they going to grow? What do orcs need to grow big and strong? A lot of dead kings going on. Holy shit. What's happening over here? With the plague catching up with you finally? Man. If only. A bunch of cows, some big orcs juice, some meat on the menu, give them a boon. I could give them cows, yeah. Make them big and strong. Nom nom nom. Meat good. Delicious. And then they all die of gout. Ugh. Gout death, what a way to go. Yeah, I think the plague's catching up with them. And that's why all the kings are just like coming and going so fast. Because all of their life expectancy is literally like 12 seconds IRL. And trees, they've still got, you know, some trees, I guess. Yeah, I'll throw some more trees down. I guess I need to, uh, by hand do it. There we go. There. What a beautiful foresty landscape. What happened to you? Oh. You think it's about time to clear the plague? Could see about that. There was a, uh... Somewhere a thing for the...
The thing is, though, is I gotta be sure I get all of it. That's the trick. Because if even just one imbecile is left still with the plague. Maybe. Just everybody have some light. All hail the king uh, of Ag. <laughs> Watching your career with great interest, sir. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Three hundred thirty-nine infected still. What the fuck? Where? <laughs> I don't know if the plague doctor helps or not. Oh god. They literally just raise skeletons out of nothing. Holy shit. And they're really fucking strong. Place 10,000 creatures? Hey, we did it. I guess. Because I think the plague doctor is just going to, like, kill people. Find out. Kills everyone around it. Ugh, ish. Okay, fuck me then. <laughs> Fine. I won't have a fairy. <laughs> Take that as a sign. Well, I don't know. The infections, it's a thing. Let's get some disasters going on. Cats and dogs, by the way, they're all starving to death. And, th and there's also chickens, apparently. No cats, though. Oh, right. We can't have the random weather because of fucking the sounds it makes. Right. I remember. Other disasters, though, I guess? Sure. Come on, infected rate. Oh no. No, my orcs. What are you doing? Okay, never mind. They're just being assimilated. That's okay. Phew. Get out of here, boat.
It does seem a little bit like they're hesitant to go for the killing blow. Oh, there we go. Oh. A necromancer came out of one of their mines, but uh, it just got dead right away. I feel like this mine is a little bit OP. Look at all the dudes getting stuff out of it. That's craziness, right? Most populated village, Pova, 1,129. That was, uh, yeah, this guy. Hmm. I was looking to see how much, like, gold they've got and all that. Or I was hoping to. But I forget what the, the kingdom looking tool was. That's the one. They're actually kind of broke. A lot of stone, but like no gold. There we go. 233 gold. 38 gold. They just spend it right away. I guess. All they eat is sushi, jam, and bread. Hmm. Oh no, you're mine. What happened to it? Uh... <laughs> Are they you? <laughs> Doesn't sound like the best diet. I'll just, it's all just chickens and woofs. Or wafts, rather. Well, orcs actually have a foothold nowadays. That's good. They've managed. Um, it seems like they generally just need trees. Like, all of the trees. Have some trees. In fact, everybody. Have some trees. You can all have it. You've all learned it, maybe. They're doing really good with this whole plague situation and, uh, you know, holding in there with it, so there's the reward for the world. 350 infected. Was averaging 400 before. I'm not sure how that compares with the world population, though. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, <laughs> Team Trees. There you go. It's as easy as that. We didn't have to do a fundraiser for it or anything. So, uh, how about, a corrupted brain. This is an area you don't really want to go. Never mind, they're fighting the brain, I think. Bastards. Trying to, at least. Erosion's turned on, but you see no evidence of it. The... Mountain... I guess I don't really have a great mountain range anymore, but there was, like... It gets all, like, pocketed-looking and stuff like that, and the... Uh, the beach, I'd assume, gets... a little bit more... over time. I, I assume. I'm, I'm not sure. Did you take out that, uh, the brain thing? Ah, oh, goddammit. That didn't last long. What if I bless the brain? Just the brain. And a little bit.
bit of blood rain. Who's Oz Fighters? What the hell? Gold brain, then. I guess that's literally just zombies, though. Like, it doesn't actually, like, turn people into zombies. They're still gonna destroy it. God damn, what's wrong with you people? Leave it be! Oh, the land bridges? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see it there. It used to be, like, fairly straight lines. Hmm. What else can we do to him? I guess I can try some mush spores. It sounds... dangerous. Holy shit. What the fuck is this guy all about? Adamantine, Glonk of Protection. 47 years ago was made. Adamantine helmets and stuff. Uncomfortable boots, though. Dude, this dude's all decked out. Absolute monster, this one. Now it's just got a steel bow. Less exciting. I'm not sure what happened with the uh, the mushroom spores. If anything. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do then... Is I'm gonna say have some ore. Have some precious minerals. Have some general stones. I'm gonna re-mountain a little bit because it's getting kind of ratty looking. Did you get out of here, boat? Back off. We're gonna make... What's... what's the best way to do this? Maybe some more doors. You okay as pop one? Do I need to give you a second one? He settled in pretty damn fast. Have to. It looks like I can just add you directly, in fact, so... I guess, uh... I guess we'll just do it this way, though. MMO Tycoon? Yeah, it gives me that vibe, too, a little bit. Because you're just, like, making a world with it all? There you go, 118 pop. Get dab done. Go, dwarves, go! I believe! I haven't played MMO Tycoon since I last streamed it, and since then they've added, like, the proper resizing and everything like that. Which was one of the huge things that I was really wanting with it. They got a really nice looking roadmap on MMO Tycoon. I should, uh, I should get back to it one of these days. I'll probably have to make a new world, though. I don't know if it's, like, so compatible. I like the Oz Fighters. Where are they at? Is that you, the Oz Fighters? Or are they, like, long gone by now? Maybe that was a bit of an old message. Great. A goal. Well, okay then. Yeah, so the orcs are gone. <laughs> they, they, orcs, they, they're shit. They're garbage. They're bad. That's, that's, that's zero for three. I'm done with it. Dwarves? Come on. Necromancer from some Rondora mines. I think it, I think it got quelled like straight away. Oh no, Oz Brothers! Oh no! 
The Oz Brothers. I didn't even realize they existed. Ah, oh, what a shame. Ah. Oh. The Urush is still around. A little bit surprised. Gotta say, there's a lot of nice art in this. There's a lot of building diversity going on with it. It's visually quite nice. That dude died so hard it turned into a tree. Wow. Aren't orcs the gentle and calm farmers? Yeah, apparently. Man, orcs suck in this. They're really bad. <laughs> uh, Pova's still kicking. Since day zero. I think, I think Pova and A. Laura are the two, uh, the two OGs. They've been in it since day one. Well, like week one. Whenever they decided to get it set up. Give them a religion? I don't think that's something I do. Um, I think that's just something that they do. Automatically. I think. Rare knowledge is weaponsmith, productivity of weaponsmithing, and armorsmith. Newborn units would start at level 2. And like an empire, this kingdom can now manage plenty of villages to grow itself further. They got all the rare knowledges, and common knowledge is just fucking all of them. It's a level 56 culture, I guess. They're at the end game. <laughs> we can make a religion out of this. And had they? Oh no. Not sure. Might not be a thing quite yet fully. I don't know. Fix that infected number a bit, maybe. I don't know how many of them are like on boats and all that, too, you know? That's sort of the thing. Maybe if I have it paused, does it still update? Oh, yeah, it still updates. 25 infected right now. 16 infected. We're getting there. 14. Come on, who's left? Must be like some dudes in a mine somewhere. Back down to 14. 13. Oh, six of them. Ought to be a way just to like wipe out the uh, all infected, just clear the whole map. Because I think some of these dudes are off in rabbit holes, like the mines and stuff. Where they can't be cured anyway. Or two left. One left. One infected guy. 
somewhere. Two and oh. Spread. Somewhere up in Pova. I bet we get like the random event of just like, oh, random infection as soon as we finally get this thing cured. Think they maybe just die? Too infected. It's spread again. Now. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Zero. Whew. Man. Damn dirty elves. All they have to do is wash their hands. They, they can't even do that. They can make adamantine, all the things, but hand washing, they're just like, Bleh. what's this all about? Get out of here. Chew. Be gone. So, what's the story here with you guys? They were at war with Amlua Forest. No idea why. Okay. And they believe in Hokitag, apparently. Culture conversion one. Culture spread speed one. House tier one. And basic weapon production. Okay. And they're working on some research. I think we just gotta give them time generally and they'll eventually, uh... Eventually do Well, we got four infected now. Who's getting sick? God damn it. Well, it's not my fault anymore. <laughs> I I cured it. Have a have a crab. Because you you damn near did it. You almost managed. Give the dwarves some crabs and chickens, and make sure they get a bunch of food. Some more sheep. Maybe some turtles. And some froggos. Yeah. And, uh... Do we have any other stupid islands anywhere? Looks like no. Okay. A bit of a bit of hell too, I guess. With just a touch of mountain. Okay. And give this a sticky swamp biome. Maybe. Ugh, gross. Disgusting. 
Can we still, like, have people on it? Is it okay? There's an alligator that just spawned. I saw that. Because I was thinking about having just, like, a nasty necro necrom necromancer, necromancer, whatever thing. I know they gotta swim around. Gross. Ugh. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe let's change the biome over though. Into Wow, uh, corrupted. Maybe just be spooky. Gross. Then have your nasty plants and nasty trees. Okay. With, like, a couple magi that just get fucking incinerated right away. Okay. Well. Have some more necromancers, then. Perfect. Okay. There you go. There's the end game. If anybody feels like trying to take that on. Welcome to the Bone Zone, yeah. Uh. Hmm. I don't think the monsters evolve any now, they just kind of do their own thing. I don't think they even really reproduce for the most part. I mean, exception being, like, these dudes sometimes. Hold on. Before people, like, colonize it and shit. I know what they're like. And I'm gonna give it a nice, cool, grassy biome thing. But, I know it doesn't really matter, because it's all going to be biomass anyway. We'll make it look really nice at first. Oh. Look at that. It looks like it'd be a cool area to be, right? You're so fucking wrong! Because it's not cool to be it. Like, at all. Also, give it some rain. Mm hmm. A little bit of time. Okay. Now, biomass. Bam. Yeah, it's doing its thing. And dwarves still... Still doing their thing. They at least know weapon production and bows and swords and stuff. Like, they're getting there. Hell's tier 2 as well. They're working on it. The population is just finding a really happy medium, I guess. The flappers are gonna take over? Oh no. With their pitiful squeals. Still gotta get to, uh, start an aftershock. One day. I feel bad for whatever brave adventurer thinks that this is a cool place to settle. Because I got news for him. The news is, welcome to the ooze. Hmm. Yeah, they also, uh... Yeah, okay. So we can see about making... Making a world. 
out of just whatever the ants create. And we just see which ant wins. It'll be like playing the game of life. Kind of. <laughs> sort of. Okay. But the main thing itself, I can't click on. I wonder if they can actually stop the biomass. Or maybe just impede it a bit. Orbs ain't doing so hot. Their population's getting kind of low. Wonder what's up with that. Your favorite food, fish. Yeah, you don't have any fish. I, uh... Yeah, you know what I could do, though? I could give you, like, an artificial... I could give you an artificial ocean. <laughs> there, this is the beach, yeah? And then you got the ocean. Get out of here, boat. I'm busy. Right? There's some shallow water. And then... And then close ocean. And then deep ocean. Right? That's how this works. No. And then a touch of rain. Sploosh! Oh, it comes in from off the edge, too. There, look at that. Maybe they get some fish, I don't know. Worst case, they got some nice beachfront properties, or at least an opportunity for it, if they so choose. I don't know if dwarfs care about beachfront properties, though. I feel like that might be one of the few things they don't care about at all, in fact. Okay. Good luck, dwarves. Good luck, biomass. That's still spreading any? Yeah, slowly. Quite slowly. Alright. And Necromancer Island still just an absolute shit fest. Fantastic. Can I zombify a skeleton? Uh Zombie infection. Oh, that was maybe a bit big. I can uh I can throw down some more necromancers though. I'm wondering if the skeletons maybe don't turn. Like the necromancers turned into the zombies, and the skeletons are just without a master then? Or having to put down their old master, perhaps? Can't be cursed and blessed. Wise. Restores health over time. Doesn't seem to be applying to many things. There's combat happening, though. Something to maybe check back on. The hell is that? That's not in the way at all. 
Pova was destroyed. Oh my god, Pova. What happened? Oh, right. I forgot I did that. Huh. Little mushroom men are taking over the world now. <laughs> I completely forgot I did that. That was just like a little dabble in the middle here. I didn't think it did anything, but like a dude died and turned into mushrooms and it spread onto the other people and that spread and that spread and that spread. Hmm. At least the dwarves will be okay. Right? Meanwhile, still a bit of combat happening here. Well, since this is the mushroom land now, I'll, uh, we'll commit a bit, I guess. Have some mushroom spores. Get them all nice and moist. Mushrooms love this. I think. Gonna make it a bit jungle over there, though. And uh, I think I have a little infernal corner, maybe. Out here. Spice it up a little bit. Okay. The rest of the world seems okay, just Pova got completely fucked over by that. Making, unfortunately, Elves the final remaining original town. As much as that upsets me. In fact... Do we have anything... not Elf? That's the wrong icon. Elves won! <laughs> God damn it. It's all elves. Son of a bitch. Okay. Rebuild, rebuild from that, you, you shuts. Balanced. A little bit. How, how we doing here? <laughs> this, this world is... Um... Eroded, let's say. <laughs> that was so fast. Right, let's... Maybe time speed just one. There we go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> ah, he just throws explosive presents. That's what he's doing. Okay. Ah, get fucked, you! I like one dude over there. And there we go. We killed half the world with that. Okay. Uh 
Let's ocean it up. Uh, maybe pause first. So it stops the water calculation. Just a nice sort of... Cleansing, you know? Maybe a... Just go with the square. There's still going to be people, like, floating around in the water and stuff, isn't there? What would be the best way to cleanse the entire world? Just, like, set it all on fire, then turn it all into the ocean, maybe? Because they're just going to be swimming around. Unless I, uh... That's like prana a little bit. Black and White is like probably one of my favorite games. Black and White was so good. I'd love to see more things like Black and White. And we still got all these uh, mushroom people and stuff hanging around, though. Strong-minded. Immune. It's a little mushroom man, I think. Well, the life eraser still got a, still got a paint around. It works. No, a little bit of sand down there. Uh, deep ocean. There we go. Okay. So, world population one. A beast somewhere. There's still a beast somewhere, but it's probably just like a fish or some shit. Oh no, there we go. Maybe. Okay. We're good. I could have just made it a new world, but I didn't. So. With the ants now. Sand and ocean. Mountains and sand. Soil from everything. Square-like patterns. It sounds like sand's gonna win. Oh my god. This is actually a pretty big world, it turns out. Okay. Go. Hey, he's just making his little squares over there. Look at him go. He's playing Snafu, but he's like so bad at it. Or so good at it, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm thinking they don't go far enough, though. <laughs> Oh, this guy's trying. Like he's making a little crab empire over there. Look at him go. Look at him go. What's he doing? Wow. <laughs> Jesus. 
Okay. Um. <laughs> I think I think his controller got disconnected or something. That's the thing with random, though. You never really know. Him too. Well, that didn't work nearly as well as I had hoped it would. Let's let's make a new world with uh, what a level one hundred ought to just make it like that ought to just be the whole thing water right. Damn near. Okay. And water level zero then? Yeah, okay. And small islands, 30. Right. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that type of map. Nobody wants to play. Right. So, not many islands then. I'm, I'm confused about the random shapes thing. Like, is everything going to be a square if that's zero, or...? Oh, hey, look at that. Nah, the water level zero means that the water is generally just not, like, it doesn't take up a shitload of the world. Or at least, that's the idea behind it. But, it does seem like we have a bit less deep ocean, and quite a lot more, uh, beach, and all that going on. It's a lot more shallow water here and there. Ah. Tiny. A tiny little world. That is very tiny. Okay, that ain't kidding. Well, it's a fun little game, though. Um, not not too bad. It is really just like, uh, yeah, like the like an Anto game type thing where you just sort of you just sort of watch it go, you know. Maybe dick around with it a little bit to mess with it here and there, but generally you don't really have to. It's not bad. But I could, in theory, just start just like... One human. And, uh... Well, that's not going to be fair. I guess... I guess two orcs, then. And you just sort of... just let it go! And you just see what happens. You check back on it another time. What all goes on with the jungle? Because this spawns naturally uh, some wildlife for the biome, I noticed. There's a corrupted island. And an infernal island, for what it's worth. A couple of them, maybe. This aspect of it really just makes me want to play MMORPG Tycoon, though. <laughs> In, like, a really bad way. Up here can be enchanted. Oh. Okay, go. Begin. All things reproduce by budding, it turns out, yes. Um, just one is enough to kickstart the colony, confirmed. <laughs> hmm. But it's it's neat, though. It's, it's certainly a bit... Oh, God, a spooky skeleton head thing. Whoa. It's certainly a bit niche. But like I had said before, a game like this is what I wanted 
as a kid, like so much where I just sort of set parameters and I say go and it just creates this world based on that, you know. Welcome to Crab Hell, apparently. Jesus. There's a volcano somewhere in here. Yeah. Or acid geysers. Or just a normal geyser. Or two, apparently. There's an acid geyser. And a couple volcanoes. Look out! It's gonna get ya. And that's just straight up raining lava on things. But that cools into rocks, so it's gonna make a island at some point. Right. And that just dissolves the ground. Right. Basically, like, forces erosion to it, I suppose, so. In a way. Like, Thor Fortress? Nah, Thor Fortress is very much on, like, hands-on stuff. Um, basically, just like this is what I always wanted, though, growing up. This is, this is pretty close to it. I can I can set a couple a couple variables and just say go and it just does its thing and eventually there's going to be people warring with one another and people setting up trade routes with one another and some people prosper whereas others suffer and just eventually you'll get people who have like the monopoly on a certain world resource that's dwindling a bit and it just kind of naturally uh devolves into that. It's pretty close to what the man. That's taking a while to cool, huh? I guess it. I guess it was quite hot. We can maybe keep it hot. Keep it spicy. Melt that rock. Oh god, many antimatter bombs. That's a that's a pretty okay to way just to undo the world, actually. Ruin arc? I played a little bit myself. Uh it's got a bit of a learning curve. I need to sit down with it and relearn a couple things with it. Cause there is a there is a period where I was like, wait, shit, how do I do X again? And I completely forgot how to do it, and there's no great way to, like, remember how, if that makes any sense. So I gotta, like, re-go through the tutorial and refigure things out. It looks like Ronar could be a really good time, though. Because that's also got a nice mix of, like, a little bit of hands-on, but also quite a lot of hands-off stuff where they just kind of do their own thing. You do set up the blueprints and stuff for them, though, and, like, it... It's very much a county management game in that regard. But it seems quite okay. Ruin arc. Also this. Not too bad. I think it's a bit niche, but for the people who are interested in stuff like this, it's uh, really good for them. I think you could easily kill a lot of time with it, just kind of dicking around with it periodically. Not bad. As a cat-like figure, can you introduce mosquitoes? I hope not. That should be... Mosquitoes should be just, like, a big fucking destruction power. I mean, there's fairies that just got fucking zapped by lightning straight away. I don't... I don't know. Did we get a few dragons? Some, some worms to mess with the landscape.
Hmm. Eventually, if I put enough of them in the same spot, it should sort of form a uh, an island, right? At some point. Kinda ish. I'm not sure what's up with the fairies getting zapped by lightning. I'm not sure how to feel about that. And they're just going around fucking up life. <sighs> Sleeping if there's not much else to do. So if I drop some poor fuck elf like up here, oh, they're just gonna beeline to it and be like, living! Get it! No. No, they do not. But, we can maul you with a bear. Okay. Straight away. I guess the bears aren't hungry. Well... How about some of these dudes then? With a couple towers to make ice. What do you mean, burnt? Hey, come on. That's the ultimate good versus evil, sort of. To some extent. And also just bandits who throw TNT. I'm not sure really what they're doing in this section of the... anything. Not sure about a lot of this. Uh, but no. No mosquitoes, it looks like. Just flies. Very, very annoying flies. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The dragons seem quite happy fucking up this really teeny tiny island. I'm not really sure why. I also... Honestly, don't know what the uh, the Godfinger is supposed to be doing. It just like paints a really teeny tiny line, I guess. Sometimes. Ah. Well, I think I'll wrap it up here. Um. Both this game and also the stream, because I had to go a little bit early. It's a little earlier than I expected, but I don't really have the time to boot up something new. Um, but this is... it's interesting. It, very niche. But for those of you who are liking a game that's like this, where you just kind of let it do its own thing, I think that's a pretty okay one. It's got a nice sandbox. Makes me want to play more RPG Tycoon. A whole hell of a bunch, though. <laughs> like... So much. But that's okay. That's a good game, too. If I just make it really hot, does it actually change the landscape at all, or just... Not really, no. No, that, that's, that's what the hot ray is for. Just incinerates it all right down to the rock and then melts the rock into lava and that'll harden up and oh What a cool thing the heat ray is. There's a certain level of satisfaction to just melting the world though. I don't know. I never really had it much with the games like Sin City. It never really appealed to me just destroying it. But in this, I don't know, it's a little more 
Maybe because it's got elves in it. I don't know. A little more satisfying, though. It's cool, though. Nice game. Very pleasant. Early access is out, or the release is out? I don't know. I think just early access is available. It's not really clear on Steam. December 2nd, though. So soon.